Chicken doré sounds fancy, but it's nothing more than sautéed chicken breast with a potato crust. What we have here is a, about a five ounce piece of boneless, skinless chicken breast. And you see how it's thicker at the top than at the tailpiece. And what we're going to do is just pound it a little bit so that cooks more evenly. And then we're going to dredge it in uh, seasoned flour that's just plain, regular, all-purpose flour with a little salt and pepper and chili flakes in it. You want to coat it pretty well and then shake off the dust. And then into a slightly beaten egg. Uh, and what that does is just make like an adhesive for the potato flakes we have here. Uh, and that's going to give us our nice doré or golden coating. So that's a nicely coated chicken breast. Uh, we have a saute pan here uh, that we're going to heat up just a little bit and then add some uh, garlic oil. Uh, that's a corn oil or a peanut oil would be fine. Something with a, 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 lo a high smoking point. Don't use extra virgin because you're just throwing away your money. Uh, and there we go. We'll add that to the pan. So it's nice and golden on the one side and we're going to just leave it in the pan for a moment there while it gets golden. And then we're going to throw it into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 12 minutes. Chicken's in the oven and we're going to make a hand chopped bell pepper pesto. Uh, we have a fire roasted poblano chili which we've charred over an open flame, peeled and seeded. Uh, red bell pepper, same, charred over an open flame, peeled and seeded. And then we're just going to uh, coarsely chop this uh, with some roasted garlic. Uh, we make the roasted garlic by tossing it in oil and throwing it, throwing it in the oven. It uh, doesn't have to be fine. We aren't making a basil pesto or anything. We're just making a, something that resembles a paste. So nice pretty color mix, especially for the Christmas season. We have, oh, about equal amount of chopped pecans, pecans, pecans. There again, doesn't have to be pretty. Just like that. We have a whole head of roasted garlic uh, and it's wonderful flavored olive oil. Uh, and we're going to sprinkle a little bit of salt, some fresh ground black pepper, a pinch of crushed red chilies and give it a run through with a knife right there. Mix it up real good and that's going to go on our nicely golden chicken breast. This is a great side dish for either chicken or fish, uh, sauteed sweet potatoes, red onions, leeks and black beans. We start with a nice beautiful orange sweet potato. You can use the other color if you like. We're just going to dice it coarsely and blanch it. So we just take a piece like that, cut it in pieces, and then put it in some boiling water for about five minutes just to make it so it, it cooks faster when in our saute pan. While that's cooking, we're going to be dicing up our red onion. And uh, there again, also a nice coarse chop. And to that, we're going to mix a little bit of leeks. You've got to be careful with leeks because in between each little uh, band here, there can be a lot of sand, grows in a nice sandy soil. So we have leeks, red onions. We have a hot pan here. We're going to add some olive oil this time because this is going to be a nice fast saute. I'm going to just toss that a little bit, make the onions translucent and uh, maybe give a little bit of color to the, to the leeks. We're going to toss in a little bit of crushed chili, black pepper, salt. And you see we're starting to color up there. We have our blanched sweet potatoes. Our cooked black beans. We want to make sure that you season the black beans if you're cooking them uh, for this dish really well. Almost so if you ate them with the liquid, they'd be too seasoned too well. You know, if you were using the Mexican oregano or sage or or uh, any other herbs that you like with your with your beans.
when you drain them, you lose a lot of flavor. So you want to make sure that the beans have a nice uh, flavor to them before you add them to this dish. Uh, and then to that end, we're going to toss in just a little bit of chopped fresh cilantro. And this will be uh, right before they're ready to go on the chicken or the fish or whatever you choose to serve this with. But isn't that nice and really colorful? Looks like winter time to me. Sweet potatoes and leeks are hot and delicious. We're going to start plating our dish here. Uh, it so we got some nice colors up on top. So the chicken breast really stands out. Take our potato crusted chicken breast and then our pan chopped chili pesto. Uh, 